Jesus had some very good friends who lived in the town of Bethany, just on the other side of the Mount of Olives from Jerusalem. Their names were Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus. Jesus and his disciples, according to John the Evangelist in the 11th chapter, were out working when they get word that Lazarus is very ill. And they continue working and uh, finish up what they're doing, and then they start making their journey back to Bethany, where they lived. By the time they arrive back in Bethany, uh, they discover that Lazarus has died. And, uh, in fact, his funeral has already begun. In Jewish customs, sometimes funerals would go two, three, four days or longer. And when they arrive, the people are mourning and uh, lamenting the loss of this good man. Lazarus was well-loved, well-liked, not only by his family, but by his friends. When Jesus arrives, he's also met by the sisters of Lazarus, Mary and Martha. And they're both concerned because they say, and the question they pose to him is, Lord, if you'd been here, our brother would not have died. And it's then when Jesus uh, speaks those immortal words, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, yet shall they live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. And he asks Martha directly, do you believe that? And she says, yes, Lord, I believe. Jesus sees the crowd there uh, mourning the loss of their friend, and he himself seems to have been caught up in the grief of that loss. And it's there we also have in John 11:35 the shortest verse in the Bible, two words in the King James, simply, Jesus wept. He asks, uh, the sword doesn't end there, of course, with him weeping. He asks the sisters where they buried their brother. And they say that they've buried him in a shallow cave on the outside of town. Not some other place. Right here. And they take him to the cave, and he asks some of the people nearby to help him move the stone. And everybody had to have wondered what in the world he was up to. When he gets up close to the mouth of that cave, and he appears back in the darkness, down these steps, and says, Lazarus, come out. And you remember what happened? Lazarus comes walking out of that tomb, still wrapped up in the grave clothes he was buried in, but more alive than he had ever been. And it was from that point forward, uh, John tells us, that the scribes and the Pharisees determined that they've got to kill Jesus. Someone who can work these kind of miracles uh, is, is certainly uh, not, is going to really uh, do away with their whole system of belief and, and everything that they believed up to that point. And so um, the miracle of the, the raising of Lazarus was very, very important. Where we are now... Uh, is believed to be the tomb of Lazarus. We know there was a Byzantine church here till at least uh, by at least the fourth century. We know that Eusebius, one of the early church historians, uh, came here as part of his own pilgrimage. And uh, so I believe that this could very well be the tomb of Lazarus. When uh, uh, we have faith, we're willing to give God the dead places in our lives and realize that it's Christ who can bring life back to the dead. Amen. 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 Amen.